What's up, YouTube? So today uh, they got like fall nationals up at the drag strip, so I'm headed up there. Probably give you a couple of ideas about what the Wichita drag strip is like because they don't take card. So I had to stop and get cash. Just a warning for anybody that's going up there. It's pretty much like two roads to get in and out of the place, and the cops tend to sit out there, um, especially when events are going on. So, be careful. Don't act a fool going in and out of the event. It's retarded too. So, here we go.
much done here at the drag strip. There's still a lot of racing going on, but I got what I came for. Um, finding out where people like to hang out on the weekends when there's nothing going on at the drag strip. Hopefully I'll get some good video for tonight. We'll see. Here we go. Hitting the road. So I didn't get any video last night because I didn't go out. And that's because check engine light came on on the car as I was out and didn't feel like taking the chance of hurting the car more. So I brought it home, ended up staying in for the night. But right now I'm hooking up the laptop. I'm gonna check it, what the code was, if it was a misfire. All that is on, connecting to car. Diagnostics, read DTCs. Cylinder, hmm. misfires, cylinders one and two. All right. Check in in a minute. Just got done running the HP tuners, uh, just in the fuel, long term, short terms. Um, because I really don't know how to do much else right now. I'm still learning HP tuners. If any of you all know anything about HP tuners, feel free to reach out. Give me a little bit of heads up on what's going on because since I started getting the air fuel ratio correct, I'm starting to get knock on tip in. And also I'm having a closed loop fault because I don't have a rear O2 sensor is what I thought but I've disabled everything that has to deal with the rear O2 sensor. And I'm still getting the closed loop fault. Um, initially, it's it went into closed loop, but as soon as I started driving around, it jumped out of that, said closed loop fault. Um, not sure what that deal is with that. I had it for a while, it was working just fine, and then started getting tunes from RPM and having to readjust what they were doing because they weren't taking into the account that I didn't have a rear O2 sensor. Because my rear O2 sensor is gone um, since I have a catless downpipe. And it's actually for the air fuel ratio now on my A pillar. But next weekend, I'm gonna be at the Resurrection Grudge Fest at the Kansas International Dragway here in Wichita. So this will be the first time I've taken this car down the track. I'm not allowed to run faster than a 1349 right now since I don't have a roll bar, but I don't know. The last time I had the G-Tech on it, I ran a 13.9 according to the G-Tech. So you're probably looking 14 flat at the drag strip usually within a couple of seconds and the g-tech was done when the car was stock so i don't know i know i'm up about 30 40 horsepower since i had ran the g-tech but who knows we'll see where i'm at see if i get kicked out it'd be pretty interesting if i get kicked out but if this is your first time here please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and you all have a good night.